we're back <laughs> and still busy with our Creating a Godly Marriage series. And today, episode seven. Can you oh. believe it's seven already? <laughs> Amazing. Wow, it, it is. I oh, didn't, didn't know in the beginning how many we would do, you know, now we're already on seven. And it seems every time we do one, it produces another just one. another topic <laughs> on the same this. subject. Yes, and we do this once a week. Oh, once a week. <laughs> so today we're talking about needs. Her needs, his needs. <laughs> we're not. This is just a basic discussion of some of the needs we feel are basic needs. Yeah. And some principles in respect of that, how these are to be fulfilled in a marriage. And just this, of course, keep in mind, vision previous mm. video and one before that two videos back boundaries that'll come into play here yep. that'll form part of this yes. the vision of a godly marriage is part of these needs and how these needs will be fulfilled and will yep. be met has got to do with the vision yes a godly marriage yes. and it has to do with boundaries yes and let us say this each couple will determine these for themselves yeah true take your guide from romans 14 where he speaks of conscience. He says, one mm. believes it wrong to eat mm. meat. Another believes he's free to eat meat. One mm. feels only to eat vegetables. <laughs> Another feels, can eat meat and vegetables. <laughs> let each be guided by his own conscience, but let not the one dispute yeah. with the other. Yes. If it be wrong for your conscience to eat meat, he says, then it is sin to you. Mm. We take the same, same principle applies here. Yeah. Some of these things, Especially when we come to the one sexual attract fulfillment, mm. sexual fulfillment. Mm. It, each couple will determine that. Yes. But enough said, my dear. Yeah. Do you want to start for us? Yes. <laughs> I think on top of the list, or a woman's yes. first basic need mm. is love. And a man's first basic need, am I correct if I say it's respect? Yes. That's the most yeah. important one on top of the list. But the amazing thing about love and respect because mm, that is yes, on top of yeah. the list what i what i often see um that's actually very interesting is the moment a woman doesn't experience love let's say there's a situation mm. and she feels unloved her response will be to react disrespectful yes and the same with a man the moment he experiences this respect, yes, yes. you will it you will find it very difficult yeah. to show love. That's true. But now here's the thing: one needs to stop it because it can it can mm. often it can so mm. easily um, create a cycle. What you don't want is a situation where I'm disrespectful and you're unloved. I'm, I'm unloving. Yes. Sorry. I'm unloving. Yeah. Let me just get the roles right here. <laughs> I'm unloving. Yes. And you are disrespectful. Yes. And now it's tit for tat. Yes. From that yeah. situation, it can only deteriorate. Yes. You need one peacemaker. You need one of you. Yes. It's good enough. I believe every marriage has one that just does it more naturally than the other. That one needs to really work on that. Be the one to cross the divide. Yes. It brings the other one back. Yeah. One of you need to say, hey, whoa, whoa, where are we and yes. what are we doing? Yes. In our marriage, that would mostly be me, <laughs> but sometimes her. It's not just me. It'll be mostly me. <laughs> and you see, it's what it is. You said it. You said it once. But then other times it will be you. It's not exclusive. <laughs> what I did say was... <laughs> she said she loves that I'm the peacemaker. Yes, the no, I'm not the peacemaker, but a peacemaker. <laughs> oh, I don't know, my dear. I want, I want, to, I want to, I'll leave that one for the record. But you are a peacemaker. Yes. You are a natural peacemaker. Yes. You don't pick a fight. No. You are, you are a peacemaker. But not only in marriage. In mm. I've seen in other relationships as well. Mm. You always. You are always the yeah. one wanting to bring yes. the peace into yeah. the, the relationship or into yes. the situation. And that is something yeah. I really admire about you. Yeah, And something that she wants in love is she wants the, the love that she wants is that self-sacrificial love. When she sees you laying something down for her, yes. that does something. Remember yes. Ephesians 5, previous video, but vision. 
We took the vision from Ephesians 5 for the godly marriage. Love and respect. Husbands, yeah. love your wives. Yeah. Wives, respect your husbands. Yes, and the same when we talked about boundaries. Yes. Setting boundaries to protect your wife, to protect the marriage. Yes. That also, um, when a man does yeah. that, a woman really experiences love. And, and then out of that flows affection, which is the next one. Two. Why is affection so important to a woman? Oh. I think it's the most amazing yeah. thing. Yeah. It's funny. Yes. When when we talked about what we are going to do with today's video, I'm always like, um, oh, you know, it's so easy to love a woman. I mean, it's... it's, it's She's so good it's, at it. It's um, common sense yeah. to love a woman. And you will say, you said, it's so easy to love men. We are just uncomplic so simple. uncomplicated. But it's easy for a man to say it. And it's easy for a woman to say it's easy because yeah. you are a woman and yeah. you are a man. Yeah. But when it comes to yeah. respect yes. and love, now you have to, it's it's now towards the opposite um, yes. sex. Yeah, yeah. So, yes, when it comes to affection, it's so easy to, mm. to, to feel, to, to show love. Um, for instance, um, public effect, affection, if you do it in public, Yo, that's there's nothing like that boosting our confidence. Yeah, I have found that it that it really works, and, I, and I've become, I've, you know, you pra you, you you become skilled at this. You you yes. you practice it, you choose it. When I figured this out, I started just doing this in public, you know, <laughs> just going like this, you know, or just taking a hand, no. you know, uh, and it it really it does wonders for the relationship, yes. and even. And Sophronis yeah. always opens my car door for me. That's also amazing. That's also public affection. Now, that's something she likes. Yes. You might not want that and you might not do it, and that's fine. Each, will, each yes. of you will figure out for yourselves what makes what the other tick. Yes. For her, that's good. Yeah. That's major. So I do it. Why not? Did it come naturally to me? No. I had to scoop myself, scope yeah. myself for it. And once in a while or so, I miss. Or I'm a bit slow, <laughs> but you just pick up the ball and you play it. Yeah. That's all. I want to say something on respect first. Though. Yes. Respect yes. for a husband means, for a man means mm. this, that you do not speak down to him yeah. or correct him in front of others. Yes. Yes. Yeah. That's very important. Mm. You can. That doesn't mean you don't correct him if need be, but never in front of his friends. Yes. Never in front of others. Never in front of people. Yes. But I think even in a... That in you a, don't speak, you know, don't put him down. Yes, but even if you are in a private yes. place, there's yeah. ways to communicate yeah. things with That's your husband it. that um, you yeah. didn't agree with or you didn't feel loved, but you can still do it in yeah. a respectful way. Yeah. So even if you are in private, yes. in a private place, yes. you still have to speak respectful to your yeah. husband. And then we come to the one... The elephant in the room sometimes. Sexual fulfillment. Mm -hmm. Now, there's just some principles that apply with sexual sexual fulfillment that I see. One thing I want to say to you is, it is not wrong to enjoy one another's bodies. Yeah. It is not wrong to enjoy a fulfilling, healthy sex life. God made us with a sexual need and He intended for it to be fulfilled in marriage. Yes. There is something about a husband and wife that has sexual intimacy, that produces a oneness that will not pre be produced otherwise. Yeah. And can only be a successful oneness in marriage. It doesn't happen outside marriage when there's sex. Yes. It happens in marriage when there's commitment and, and there's covenant. covenant. Yep. And now sure. there's sexual fulfillment. Yes. And the important thing about sexual fulfillment is what is wrong for one couple is not wrong for another. We're not talking deviant sexual behavior. Mm. We believe us. We're talking in Christ. We're talking led by the Spirit. But one couple may feel this is it's okay for us to engage in this kind of sexual act. Another may feel, no, that's wrong. Yes. Again, take Romans 14, yeah. especially on this subject. Mm. And let not judge one another. Yeah. But I want to read for you just from the Passion Translation. 1 Corinthians 7. Verses 3 to 5. Just as some general guidelines. A husband has the responsibility of meeting the sexual needs of his wife. And likewise a wife to her husband. It is a responsibility. When you got married, you gave your body to the other one. That means you have a responsibility to it. You are, you are to do that. You are to facilitate that. Yeah. Of 
course, we were talking, I understand there are times when, when she may not want to, or she's tired, or she's going through something much, I will make room for that. She will make room for me. Mm. But it's not prolonged mm. absence of sexual intimacy. Yes. Because one party does not want to, or is punishing another. Yeah, he that's says terrible. that you, you may not do. Yeah. Then he says, neither the husband, nor the wife have exclusive rights to their own bodies. But those rights are to be surrendered to the other. You are to surrender your body to your husband, and you are to surrender mm. your body to your wife. Mm. And let me tell you, I, be, I, I believe, I firmly believe women also have sexual needs. <laughs> As men have. Men are just more focused on it. It's just what it is. Mm. But it is important for both for both, and you should surrender your body. Don't withhold from one another. He says in verse 5, he says, You may withhold for a time, such as devote, to devote yourself to prayer, mm. but then come together as soon as you're done with that. Mm. Come together again in sexual relationship so that you not be tempted yeah. by, the de by the desires of your own body. Yes. So you don't find a scenario where you, where you feel denied and mm. now you start looking. Yes. And you start thinking, oh, and you hear another guy saying, and you're thinking, oh, it's my wife. <laughs> no, 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 you know. Be honest about these things. Mm. Talk about yeah. them. Discuss them. Mm. Speak about them. Mm. And now I just want to read you the remedy uh, translation of 1 Corinthians 7 verses 3 to 5 because it, it puts it for me so much better. It says, the marriage bed is sacred, a place each seeks to please the other in the physical culmination of other-centered love and sure. mutual service. Mm. There's the key. Mm. Other-centered love and mutual service. Mm. So I'm rendering a service to yes. my wife. Mm. I'm centered on loving her, mm. pleasing her, mm. vice versa. In the marriage bed, the wife surrenders her body to her husband, and the husband his body to his wife. Thus, they selflessly become one in love. Mm. They selflessly become one in love. I That's think, the key. Yes, yeah, so it's not about satisfying your own needs, no. satisfying yourself. It's about satisfying the other one. And understand it. In that, you are satisfied. Yes, yeah, exactly. That It is so great when you see and you are fulfilling your wife sexually. Yeah. In that, and she's happy. In that, you are fulfilled. Yes. You are fulfilled. Mm. It works. God designed it that way. Mm. When one experiences fulfillment from the other, fulfillment is given to the other. Mm. Yeah. And it becomes easy. Mm. And then we come to intimate conversation. Yes. I just want to want to add yes. something with the sexual yes. fulfillment. A tip for the men. <laughs> I'll be taking you know, notes here. Man, a man is like chop switching on a light. You know, mm. it's like a switch chop, mm. and the man is switched on. But with a woman, it's like lighting candles one by one by one. <laughs> it takes a bit of time. There is four So involved. intimacy will start, for instance, it will already start in the kitchen. In the affection you show yes. in the public. If there's no yeah. love, yes. there's no respect, you can't just switch, switch it on. No, no one can. Neither no. part will. Sex will then become almost like a self gratification Not almost. It will become a self-gratification, sometimes even a punishment. Yeah. Um, and what if a woman doesn't show a man respect? Yes. Then you will also not... Um, You'll struggle. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So that is what I wanted so to add. Intimate there. conversation. Intimate conversation is when you open yourself up to me you share um mm. things about your heart that knee moment husbands <laughs> guys that that moment that you say when your wife says um i want to talk to you and you're like don't do that i've learned not to do that don't go <sighs> it's not necessarily it's not it even about you. Negative. It's not even maybe about you. <laughs> no, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's not. It will, good <laughs> things may come out of it. Yeah, too. And when um, to the mm. to the woman, I want to say, if your husband, because it's difficult yes. for a man to open up to a woman, mm. 
it's difficult for a man to show his heart, to talk about things mm. or make himself yes. vulnerable. Yes. Once he yeah. did that, yes. never yeah. ever use that against him or share it with your lady friends. That's a no-no. Don't do yeah. that. It's Don't intimate. Go intimate yeah. means it's between the two of you. Yes. Never share. And and the other way around as well. Yeah. You don't share things I share in private, things that matter, matters to my heart with friends. Mm, you will yes. also not do that. Yeah. So it works both ways. And then, of course, we come to recreational companionship. Yes. So why is that important to men? Is there any examples you can I honestly about? don't have a clue about <laughs> I'm looking at that I think I never <laughs> asked you about that. Recreational companionship that because is... the term I know that that would apply, but the term is not ringing a bell with that me. That is doing something yes. together. Ah, Let's say making um, you part of my life. Yes. Having you there yeah. with me. Yes. Having you there cheering me on. Yes. Having you there standing next to me. Having you celebrate my birdie. Yeah. I yes. Rec recently saw on Facebook yeah. that somebody I know for the first time after 53 years, 40, 43 years of golf got a birdie. Yeah. Yes. I mean, you celebrate with. You're there. Yeah. You're part of that. Yes. That is recreational companionship. Yeah. But sometimes you maybe don't like fishing that much, but you'll make a play. But for instance, you wrote yes. a book. Mm. So I take the book and I yes. do, I, I, yes. I run with, with it. it. I work with yes. it. I, my marketing um, department. Yes, I market My sales the department. <laughs> I deliver the books. Yes. So I'm part of yep. your life. That's you it. You make yeah. me part of it. Yes. Okay, next one is honesty and openness. Honesty and openness. Yes, sure. to be honest mm. about things. Yes. To be open about things. That is also part of I think that's important for both parties. Yeah. It's not just for, for wives, maybe I wouldn't say necessarily more than husbands. In our in our marriage, um both of us, but on mostly from her side, she would it's very important. Mm. It's extremely important. Yes. From inside, the openness is a little bit of a difficult thing because it's about I'm in control. I know what I'm doing, and if I've got to tell you, and then you can say, and then I'm saying, I feel what I do. Yes. I had to really deal with that because I'm feeling she's now criticizing me. She's yeah. now questioning my judgment. No, she's yeah. just showing me that what's here and what's that. Yes. She's asking. I think what what what's also yes. a possibility is sometimes um, mm -hmm. a man is worried about things, but now he feels like he needs to protect his wife, yeah, so he doesn't want to discuss yes. it with her. He wants to make a plan, but here's the thing. But she sees there's something wrong. Yes, she now experiences she's, it. What's wrong? Well, now he's pulling away. You know, now she make up all these things in her mind. But when you share yeah, with your yes, wife and yeah. you make a part of a process, she might come up with brilliant plans to sort out the problems. She invariably may. <laughs> I've, I'm all saying invariably will. And I, I almost, I actually correct, I, no, no, it's invariably will. Yeah. <laughs> She'll come up with something. Because remember you are one. Yes. You are in this together. Yes. And together you make plans. Yes. And together you work. That's it. With it. Um, Stefana's physical attractiveness I want to say it might be more important to men because men yes. are visual. Yes. But I do want to add that it's um, important for women as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, nobody wants to be married to a couch potato. Yeah. Sloughing around. Sloughing around, looking <laughs> like. I mean, she was, you know, I mean, and we're not, we're not, listen. Mm. Here's what I see with physical attractiveness. I've always said to God, I don't want the perfect 10 woman. I would not want that. I'm young. No, no. My dear, I am. I'm wisely gonna. I'm, I'm wisely gonna be busy with the topic here. Um, I'm not going there. I, I'm busy here. Don't distract me. Let's focus. Physical attractiveness for me is always been. Lord, I want a wife that looks after herself. I don't want one that's necessarily the perfect weight, perfect rings. What is that anyway? What is that for one? And she's the perfect ten, and she's like, wow, and she wears the. A bikini like whoo! <laughs> I never wanted that. I wanted a wife that looks good, that looks after her body, mm -hmm. that cares for her body. I wish to God that that would look after her skin. You know, would would take would and looks good, dresses well. 
She doesn't have to wear the latest, greatest fashion. It's fine if she does. No, no problem with that. I don't have a yeah. problem with that. Uh, to me, it was always physical attractiveness to me is she looks after herself. She looks after her appearance. Mm -hmm. She looks neat. She takes care of herself. That's what I'm after. Mm -hmm. She takes care of her body. Yes. And that shows. Mm -hmm. That to me is physical attractiveness. I think it goes that way for for for, for men as well. Yes. So that, then, that's what it is. Yeah. If you so for instance, yeah. if you if you do a, a job that requires of yes. you to work hard and you sweat a lot yes. and you get dirty, don't get into bed like that. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it's easy to smell good. Yes. It's not yeah. difficult to at least That's smell it. clean. Yeah. <laughs> the same smell with clean. a woman as well. That's yes. it. Then, just on that point, I want to say this. Of course, then what comes into that as well is dress code. Mm. Yes. What comes into that is that men live with it. She's normally better at colour and picking your own clothes than you are. You know, there are things I really thought fitted together. I wore them and then one way she said, that, that shirt doesn't go with that pants. I'm like, I've been wearing it like this for 10 years, five years. I mean, men keep their clothes a long time. And nobody ever told me, how do you mean it doesn't, doesn't go together? It looks fine. No, it does not. So surrender to it. Let that her was, do it. That was in your BL years. Yes. The before and, Letitia. And hus <laughs> wives, pay attention where your husband says to you, my dear, that, that dress is a little bit... Yeah, too short or too, too tight. Or, yes, or too yes. revealing. Or, mm. Yes. Yeah, yeah. There's give and take there. Yes. You, you will find what works for you. Yeah. What you're comfortable with and what you're not comfortable with. Yes. True. Next one. Financial support. Yeah. Now again, I do mm -hmm. believe nowadays there are some situations where the wife earns more than, uh, than most the husband. Most instances almost these days. These A days, lot of instances. Yes. So um, yeah. it's going to depend. But when I say financial support, if um, to give stability, to let's say the woman can't, she's so busy with the kids, she she needs shoes, but she just doesn't have the money. And he will say, oh, honey, let me buy you the shoes. Let me do something. Let me make a plan. Let's do something. Yes. Let's figure out something. Meeting her needs. Am I right? Yes. Financially yes. as well. Yeah. Of course, we do understand budgets are different. Income levels are yes. different. We're not talking having millionaire expectations. On a middle income budget. Yes. We're not talking that. No. We're talking that he, she will know that he serves her with her fine with his finances. Yes. Yeah. That he puts her first financially mm -hmm. and the needs of the home first financially. Yes. I don't come home with a brand new um, set of books I bought for two thousand rand. It's the city and the house is not taken care of. Yes, and because I've always food. wanted this. It wasn't <laughs> special, and yes. you know I really had to. But if the rest will be provided. That's not what we're talking. Yes, true. we're talking that she will know she comes first. Yes, the home yeah. comes first. The, the children, things. the family yes. is first. Yes, true. But he should not neglect himself, and she will. You know what? When he does that, she will see to it that he's not neglected. My yes. wife does that for me. <laughs> Something's yeah. finished and she just takes care of it and all of a sudden it's just there again. <laughs> you know? She sees to it that I'm not lacking in that respect. Mm. But she needs to know and see that she's first. Is that what we're talking financial support? That could be on any level. Yes. Because that's the principle. Yes, and again, Husbands remember, have to take care of their wives. Yes, and remember now, to you have to find... You, this is yes. just to open up conversation. Yes. And then, of course, when she earns more... Don't be threatened by it. It's an advantage. She's the woman of Proverbs 31. <laughs> How was that guy I felt? He's sitting in the gates with his friends. Okay, I know the picture. I mean, just, I'm putting it in the modern <laughs> And she's moving and shaking and doing business. Listen, if your wife can do that, you're a blessed man. Enjoy it. Work with it. And she will respect him and not make him feel less for it if she yes. brings home more money. Yes. And together yeah. they will look after that. Now we come to dis domestic support. Yeah. And again, we have situations where both husband and wives work. We're not talking that the wife does all everything in the home no. and he does nothing. No. We're talking that she will take the primary responsibility for orderliness, yes. cleanliness, and the and the smooth running of the household. 
She's like the manager. Even when she is yeah. more busy than him, mm -hmm. she still takes the primary. He will help. You will find your own balance. I find these days what happens a lot, and we know quite a quite a few people like that, yeah. friends, that the husband cooks. Oh yes. That's fine. Yeah. I mean, time we grew up in, that was like, you, you, you yeah. do what? Yes. What's wrong and, with your wife? And then the husband enjoys doing it. Exactly. He cooks the cooking. He prefers, he prefers exactly. doing she it. She doesn't do anything yeah. in the kitchen. He does it. Yes. That's fine. Yeah. She still takes primary responsibility for ordering the home, the mm. neatness, the cleanliness, the, you know, just arranging the home. Yes, and with, if, with, if there's teenagers that's, in the house, that's it. then you can say, come on guys, yes. come to do the dishes. <laughs> she makes sure those things run. He helps. And how the, well, the balance that you find there is between the two of you. Let, mm. not, let nobody ever tell you, your husband is less. I have, I have a friend who at some point in time, he was without a job. No fault of his own. The company was closed down in one instance. Another instance, they retrenched most of the staff, almost everyone. Eventually, the company was taken over by another. Both times, he lost his job. He's at home. Yeah. His wife earns, already earned more than him. Now, she's yeah. the sole breadwinner. You know what he did? He ran the home. Yes. He embraced yes. it. He stood with it. He went with it. He fetched the kids. He did all those things. He was still involved. Not like he's doing nothing. He's there for a season. Then he got a job again. Yes, yeah. And he's earning again. Then they, they find a balance there again. But she's still the primary domestic support. So when a woman is a stay-at-home mom, yes. for instance, that also doesn't yeah. mean now it's her responsibility and the man doesn't have to do anything. Yes. He can still help. And now again, men, <laughs> the moment you help, even when you don't need to, your wife feels loved and then she will respond with yes. respect again. but she will also give him room to understand he can't do it all the time and do everything yes. there's other things he needs to also take care of that will be happening yeah. in that time yeah. and she'll give him the room for that yes remember when i said what is that yeah. scripture that a woman is like uh, in afrikaans a dripping crown dripping the crown uh, um, a dripping tap a dripping it's tap. A dripping it's tap. like moaning. Like Women that's moaning. Nagging. Yeah. Nagging. There you go. Nagging, nagging. wife. Yes. like a dripping tap. A dripping faucet. Yes. Kum, I, and kum. at some stage, I actually said to Stephanas that, thank you that mm. I don't have to be that woman. Yes. Because I don't have to complain you not helping me. You not doing things. Mm. You, yes. you take responsibility and you will just start washing dishes. Mm. And sometimes... I learned I never did that before. Wow. I never really did that before. Um, yes, so I don't have to nag him. I don't yes. have to nag and say, please, it's yeah. been weeks now, me asking you to do that or no, fix you become, that. You become no. so easy to it. You become used to it because you see what it does and you see how it brings the two of you together and you see how important it is. And that's a laying down of self. Yes, and that makes me feel like yeah. we're a team, and yeah. then I really respect him for that. And family commitment. Yeah. You've got on the list there family commitment. Yes. That's the last on the her needs side. Yes, family yeah. commitment yes. that you know that you and your children comes first. Yeah, I remember my sister-in-law once said because my brother was like that. Yeah. He was when he was not at work, he was at home. Well, he went nowhere where his wife and kids did not go with. Yes. I'm not saying he should do the same. I'm saying in his instance, it was that way. Yes. And one day, my sister-in-law said something that stuck with me. She said, you know, th there's nothing that does more for a wife, True. for a mother, than when she sees her husband, the father of her children, in this instance. But he's the husband. He's, yes. He is the father, even if they're not biologically his, but in this instance, they were his, his children. Yeah. She's seeing him bonding with them, yes. spending time with yes. them, playing with them. She says, that, that does such a lot for her. It mm. means so much to her. Yeah. Is that what we're talking about? Yes, here? yeah. And then yeah. the same. I have another friend mm. that um, her husband is yes. in a very high profile job. He's like one of the directors of this company. And his secretary knows that even when he say to her, I'm going into this meeting, so please don't bother me. Yes. He knows, or she knows, the secretary or the PA knows that when his wife calls, she may yes. interrupt him because then it's an emergency. So yes. now again, 
when you have that um, agreement, the, the wife must not abuse it. Abuse it. And the same with us. Yeah. I know yes. that um, even when Stephanus' phone is on not um, disturbed, do not disturb, do not disturb yeah. his yes. settings is like, I can get hold yeah. of him. Yep. And I know that if something happens, let's say I'm in a car accident or something happens, then I know he will come. Mm. I know he's committed to me. But now again, I don't um, misuse yep. that's that. It. Yep. And then and we come to admiration. admiration for a man that's very important. All he wants to know from time to time is that he is the strongest, the best, the cutest, yes. the, even though he knows it's not. He wants to hear it. Yes, I mean, he wants to hear awesome. that for her. You see, here's the point. Here's the point. I am not the most attractive man in the world, but I am to her. Yes. That's what I want to know. I want to know that she admires me, that she that she that she finds that she admires the good qualities in me. You know, that does a lot for me. Yeah. That does a lot for me when she says to me, she said to me once, I wish you could see me. See you through yes. my eyes. Yes. And I could see myself through her eyes. Yes. Yeah. The way she sees me. You know what that does for me? It gives me a different perspective. It yes. helps me. Mm. That's what we talk about admiration. Yeah. But I think that also works both mm. ways. I think this is something yes. that you can do. Yeah. You take your husband or you take your wife and you go and stand in front of a mirror. And then you say to one another, this is what I see in you. Mm. This is what I admire yeah. about you. And the same as, as, yes. as um, yeah, yeah. a woman likes yeah. to, that her husband says to her, yes. you look so beautiful. Yep. You're, you're really attractive. The man, men needs the same. Yes, true. So that is what I mean with admiration. Yeah. So my dear, today you get the privilege to land the plane. Okay. So, as much as mm. she needs mm. love, yes. he needs respect. As much as he needs sexual fulfillment, she needs affection. As much as she needs intimate conversation, he needs recreational companionship. Yeah. And as much as he needs yeah, physical sure. attractiveness, mm. she needs honesty and openness. And as much as she needs financial support, he needs domestic support. And as much as he needs admiration, she needs family commitment. And, wow, I could not have said that better. <laughs> Excellently done, my dear. And that's yes. it for today's video. Look forward to seeing you next week. Yes, and remember to subscribe yeah. to our yes. YouTube channel. Share it with your friends. <laughs> Share with others if you find value from us. Tell them about it. Share the link to the channel and just spread the word. And until we that's meet it. again, Shalom! shalom.